So this helium hotspot miner, this uh, gold spot rack wireless version two has been sinking for about 12 days now and I'm not making any HNT and I'm getting very frustrated with it. So today I am going to take matters into my own hands and I am going to try to fix it. Now you're welcome to follow along in my journey, but please understand anything I do is not a recommendation. Uh, I don't want you bricking your own device. Uh, this is merely for entertainment purposes uh, and hopefully to appease my anger because when I'm not making H&T for 12 days, uh, yeah, I get a little upset. So let's see if we can get this fixed. First thing I'm going to do is I am going to connect to it. So let's open up uh, Helium and I'm going to go to this one, Quaint Wooden Beaver. Again, offline, 12 days, not sinking. I'm going to pair with it. I say it's not sinking because it still says it's sinking, right? But it's not sinking. Uh, so frustrating. Uh, and so far, all of the support messages I have sent in have not been helpful. They keep saying that, uh, well, Helium is working on it. We're going to put in a new update. But here it is. If I look at Blockchain Sync, uh, it is at 99.17. It was at like 0.89 or something like that when I started 12 days ago. Uh, and it has been updated to 2021.12.06.0. Uh, if I click on send report to support and look at the height. So let's take a look at the height here. It shows 1,121,723 is where it is on the blockchain. And uh, yeah, it's been that way for about, uh, well, 12 days now. So I think it's stuck on this. So we're gonna try to fix this. And uh, how are we gonna fix this? We are gonna start by unplugging it and uh, messing with the SD card. So that's what we'll be doing today. We'll be messing with the SD card. You just, uh, you need to open it up and uh, take the tape off right here. And there's the SD card. Get some pliers or uh, little tweezers, probably tweezers are better. Your pliers are probably too big to get in there. You can see it right there. Just gonna pull it out. There's our card and uh, let's see what we can do to this. So if we're gonna start somewhere, we might as well start at the help documentation. So I'm at docs.helium.com here and uh, I'm just gonna jump right to troubleshooting, see what they have. First thing I notice is replacing SD card. Seems like a good place to begin. Okay, now I don't know if this works for every type of Helium Hotspot Miner. Not really saying here, but uh, I do have this flash card, um, flash card, uh, well, flasher application. Uh, used quite a bit for people who mess with Raspberry Pis, and that is me. And it's saying that I need this, so I have it ready to go. And uh, it also says that I need to get the uh, image file to flash. So I basically need to have the right date, and I know that that date uses 12.06. So I'm just going to copy the information that it has here and... Uh, Paste it over and change that to a 12.06. All right, and it's downloading. So again, I am going to be using this on a, uh, well, a version two of the rack wireless miner, the gold spot specifically. Uh, so I'm going to take that SD card right now, actually, and I'm going to pop it in to my computer. And uh, let's go and bring up uh, that uh, Etcher program. 
And yeah, let's, uh, we'll see, clone drive, flash from file, flash from URL. Okay, flash from file. So there's the file. Open that. Select our target. There's our generic card. Select it, and we'll flash it. Uh, now, uh, once again, I do recommend that uh, you don't follow my instructions unless you uh, are ready and prepared to brick your device. This is purely for entertainment purposes only, and but I'm, I'm crossing my fingers and I'm hoping that this works. So uh, yeah, looks like it's happening pretty quick. Glad to see it. I, um, I mean, I'm not positive about this, uh, but I understood, because I did do some other previous research on this uh, to mess with the SD card before I decided to rip it out, that this shouldn't affect a version 2 rack wireless helium miner. There might be data on a version 1 or 1 1.5 or something like that that needs to be saved, but not a version 2. My advice to anybody who might be wanting to do this is to maybe get a new SD card to do it on. Don't mess up your old SD card in the process. All right, so we have it. Uh, let's pop it in, see how it goes. So that did nothing. That, that didn't work. Um, looked exactly the same, no changes, but it did make me think about cloning. Now I have this miner right here and uh, it works. It's 100% synced to the blockchain, so why not use it? Let's try to clone it. Okay, so here we are once again. Now, I put a little dot on the uh, possum card, the one that's 100%, uh, and I'm gonna pop it in first to make sure that I remember which one is which. Cool. So I can click on now, flash another. I'm going to remove, and I'm going to clone drive. There's my drive that I'm going to clone. I'm gonna select that. Now i got to select target, which means I need to uh, pull out the new card. Or sorry, pull out the uh, beaver card, as it were, the one that's not working. I'm going to pop this in. At least I know that I have a disk image I can put back on this card if there is problems. So let's see. Okay, we got our source drive. Now we got uh, where it's going to be cloning to. And let's flash it. I'm a little worried. Uh, you know, sometimes you're not sure if you hit the right uh, buttons there. Uh, ooh. ETA. Okay, guys, so this may take a while. <laughs> um, yeah, like somewhere between an hour to an hour and a half, maybe. Okay, wait, wait, no, it's getting smaller. No, it's getting larger. Um, yeah, okay, I will see you shortly. Uh, okay, and that is it. So, uh, yeah, let's go test this. Just uh, pop it in. Put the tape back on. And, uh, yeah, let's just, just plug it in, see if it works. All right, so just to be clear, I had to connect this via Ethernet. And I did that because I don't know why, but it was having trouble getting onto the Wi-Fi. Now I suspect that that is because I had already put the other hotspot that was cloned with this possum already online. And for some reason uh, it was, I don't know, thinking this was possum. I'm not really sure what the deal is. But point being is uh, I have fixed that. And now I am gonna go to my phone and uh, we are going to see how things are going. So let us open up Helium. And uh, we're going to Quaint Wooden Beaver. And I am going to pair it. And let's see what we shall see. Okay. Okay. 
go into diagnostics and yeah blockchain sync at a hundred percent okay that's a good start uh peer-to-peer -peer connections i think it's still connecting as i just plugged it in so hopefully outbound inbound would come about once again uh like i said uh, i i did connect it via um Ethernet, but I also then reset it to use Wi-Fi. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to hook it all back in to my standard connection right here. And I am going to set it somewhere and give it time to, uh, well, see if it actually is working and gets any beacons or witnesses. So, yeah, I'm very positive, though, with uh, what I'm seeing so far. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm happy. Let's see what's going on. Okay, so it's been about four hours and I'm not happy anymore. Um, first of all, if you look on the network, you will see that I am offline. Now, I'm not really worried about being offline, but, uh, you know, obviously it's an issue. Secondly, um, I was having a lot of trouble connecting back to the internet. Not sure what that was about, uh, but eventually I was able to fix everything and all my devices are connected once again and they all seem to be working, so I'm not concerned about that anymore, but you should be aware that uh, flashing your SD card might cause something like this. Um, but what I am seeing is that even though it shows 100% uh, in terms of synchronization, the numbers are not going up. In other words, I'm looking at the working um, Helium Hotspot Miner, and its numbers are going up, whereas uh, the numbers for this particular uh, beaver, as it were, uh, for my, my one named Beaver, it, they're not going up. So if, if the blockchain is not changing uh, the in other words, what block I'm supposed to be on, then the same issue is persisting. So I'm going to look into this right now. Okay, so I came up with this whole plan a couple days ago when I went to Minted's uh, Gold Spot support. And as you can see right here, uh, they're suggesting, first of all, that I make sure that I'm not relayed. And uh, they wanted me to basically uh, have something that I can put on an SD card like we did, but they didn't have their own. They said they were building on the latest firmware now and they should have it in a few hours. And that was yesterday. And so finally today I got frustrated and I found that page that I showed you and said, yeah, let's do that. Um, but it didn't work out. And uh, now uh, they're saying that, yes, they have their own version. So this is the version I need to use. So when I asked them, they, you know, has anyone else fixed it using it? And they said, this will get your up miner. This will get your miner up and running and fetch the latest blessed snapshot from Helium, which is a thousand blocks behind. So it will still take about 12 hours to sync. That's fine. As long as I can see it syncing. I am currently looking at what is happening with uh, my, well, uh, the working miner, Possum. Possum. I can see the blocks change when I check the diagnostics and try to send an email of it to someone. But when I look at uh, Beaver, it's still stuck where it is. So let's do this. So we're going to go and flash from file. There's the file that they gave me. Select the target. Here we go. And let's do it. Let's flash it. Yeah. Okay. If you wonder what I type, I have to uh, put in uh, my password in order for this to start working. But as you can see, that's all I have to do. I am just taking the one that I spent almost two hours uh, formatting uh, to be a clone of Possum because it's not working. You can see it's not working. So I, this is my solution. This is what I got to do. So hopefully this will work out. I'm going to pop this in. Uh, if I see that things are changing, I will definitely let you all know. So, so here we are about 24 hours later. 
nothing that I did has made any difference. I have finally given up. Uh, I am working right now on uh, making sure that I am not relayed anymore and uh, checking to make sure that I am considered online and uh, you know I want to just check my information here. This is something that gives you some of these options uh, within uh, Minted's Discord. Uh, but uh, yeah, I reverted myself back to what we were 24 hours ago. I'm now back on the blockchain at 1,121,723. It is frustrating. Uh, my only hope at this point is that according to uh, Helium, uh, they are going to do a new release of 2021.12.09.0 today. And maybe that solves my problem. So point being, everybody, we tried. You can see some options that are available to you that maybe you can try. See if they work for you. But again, do it at your own peril. You do run the risk of bricking your system. And... Uh, even if you do all of this work, maybe nothing will come of it. All right, well, that's it for me. Take care and happy mining.